For a successful colonoscopy, you need to know what to do before you start the bowel preparation, how to temporarily eat a low fibre diet, and how to manage any medications you are on prior to starting the bowel preparation. A colonoscopy can detect diverticular disease, inflammatory bowel disease, polyps, or bowel cancer. When you have a colonoscopy, you need to have a clean bowel for the treating team to do the procedure. Otherwise, you'll need to repeat the whole process again, causing inconvenience and risk delays in diagnosing a problem in the bowel. You must follow all the instructions given to you by the endoscopy department on your information sheet. The bowel preparation sachets can be collected from either your local pharmacy or either the Gold Coast University Hospital or Rabina Hospital Pharmacy Department. When having a colonoscopy, there are a few important things that you need to do. Your doctor may ask you to take a laxative called Movacol or similar five to seven days before the procedure. Movacol is a mild laxative and can take up to 24 hours to take effect. You can continue to work whilst taking Movacol. Begin a low fibre diet three days before your procedure. This is essential to reduce the amount of food residue that builds up in your colon or large bowel, making the bowel prep more effective. You will need to avoid seeds, vegetable skins and nuts whilst following this diet. You may also need to temporarily stop taking some medications before the procedure. This may include certain blood thinning medications, diabetic medications, multivitamins and minerals, including fish oil, krill oil and iron tablets. After the procedure, the doctor will let you know when it's appropriate to restart these medicines. Please take all your other medications as usual, including on the day of the procedure. If you are on insulin, the dose you take will need to be adjusted. Please follow the instructions exactly to avoid the procedure needing to be rescheduled. If you have not been given specific information on your medicines, please call the endoscopy department to confirm. The day before the procedure, you can still eat a low fibre breakfast and lunch up to 1pm. From this point onwards, however, you will need to drink clear fluids only, such as water, clear apple juice, lemonade, coffee without milk, and tea without milk. You may want to make a strained clear soup, such as strained chicken noodle soup or bonox, or a clear jelly the evening before the procedure. However, jellies and soups should not be consumed on the day of the procedure. If you are a diabetic, particularly if you are on insulin, Try to have a clear sugary liquid for your evening meal. Otherwise, try and stick to non-sugary clear fluids. Check your blood sugars every four hours while you are awake and have treatment on hand, such as non-sugar-free lemonade or clear apple juice in case your blood sugar drops too low, known as hypoglycemia or a hypo. It's advisable to stay home once you start drinking the bowel preparation until you leave for the procedure the next day. The bowel preparation will cause watery diarrhoea that can begin within one to two hours of starting your prep. You may feel quite sore because of the frequent bottom wiping, so a protective cream like a lanolin cream and use of soft toilet paper can help. It is best to drink it slowly, pacing yourself so that you drink each litre over about an hour. Try using a straw to minimise the taste. Do not gulp it down as this can make you feel nauseous. If you do start to feel sick, stop drinking the prep for half an hour, have a warm, clear drink such as a peppermint tea and then start again slowly. Your bowel motion should become progressively clear or pale yellow in colour as you continue to drink your bowel prep. Keep drinking plenty of clear fluids in addition to all the bowel prep to help flush everything through and to stop you from getting dehydrated. You must arrive at hospital on time and organise for someone to take you home after the procedure and stay with you overnight. You cannot drive for 24 hours after the procedure because of the sedation and we also recommend you do not return to work or make any important decisions during this time. The final step is to make sure you remain meal by mouth for approximately two hours before your procedure. This includes lollies, smoking or chewing gum. Please thoroughly read your information sheet and any printed instructions you have been given and follow them closely. If you have any questions regarding the bowel preparation or colonoscopy procedure itself, please don't hesitate to contact your local GP or the endoscopy department here at Gold Coast University Hospital.